Hi, this is Sahana. In this video, we are going to discuss what is database provider. In our last video, we have seen how to install entity framework code. As part of it, we have installed few NuGet packages. One such package is Microsoft.EntityFrameworkCore.SQL Server. This is a database provider for SQL Server database. This package allows Entity Framework Core to be used with Microsoft SQL Server database. You can think of database provider as a framework or library which allows your application to send SQL queries to database and get the data. In our case, database is SQL Server, which is a relational database. So we are using SQL Server specific database provider. In our case, this Microsoft.EntityFrameworkCore.SQL Server NuGet package is the database provider for SQL Server. As this database provider is available as NuGet package, we have to install this package either using Package Manager dialog. You can go to Tools, NuGet Package Manager. You can open this Package Manager dialog. You can here you will get all the install packages. We have already installed this package, so it is there. If it is not there, you can go to browse section. You can search for this package and you can install this package. Other way to install this package is you can go to package manager console. You can issue command install package. Then you can write this package name and you can hit enter and you can install this package. You can go for any of the ways, whichever is convenient for you. I have shown this in my previous video. You can go to entity framework code playlist. There you'll get that video. After installing the database provider, we have to configure that database provider in our application in DB context class. We shall understand that in some other session. Very important thing to know is why do we need different database providers? Very first reason is to be compatible with different database systems. As you all know, there are many different databases available in the market and there could be functionalities unique to specific database. Each database provider is designed to work with specific database system so that we can make use of those unique functionalities. Next reason is for performance optimization. Different database providers may have unique optimization and features tailored for specific database systems. By choosing the appropriate database provider, we can take advantage of those optimizations and improve performance of our application. Next reason is to support cross-platform compatibility. As you all know, Entity Framework Core enables us to build cross-platform applications that can run on different operating systems like Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Different database providers support different platforms, so you can choose a provider that is compatible with your target platform. Please remember, for each database, database provider will be different. After deciding your database, you should install specific database provider for that database. If you want to know all the supported database providers, here is a list from MSDN. Here you can find all the supported database engine and specific NuGet package. If you are, if you want to use some other database in your application, you can refer to this document and you can decide a NuGet package. I'll mention the link in description. Later you can have a look. That's it for today's session. Thanks for your time. See you soon in the next video.